All right, so we're busy with session four of what does it mean to be church? And um, Manuel, he has a question for us. What does it mean to be called out of this world into a body of believers? Uh, why don't we just stay in the world? Why, what is this? What's so significant about that? I think, Paul, another way of putting it is that, uh, that Jesus has redeemed us as, as people. He has brought us back for God. And so once we were living in the world, meaning a system of behavior, mm. um, without identity, without true identity, um, fractured, um, part of factions, um, without a, a real sense of uh, direction, not knowing who we truly are. Mm. And I think we can see that in today's life. Yeah, um, purposeless. Not only purposeless, but identityless. Uh, yeah. People are fighting one another. Everybody's trying to hold on to some form of cultural identity yeah. as if that gives them uh, significance in the world, you know. And if anybody says anything about my culture, mm. my political party, my, uh, my pop star, then you're, then you're offended. Mm. And I think what Jesus came to do is He came to break the, the chains in our minds about what the world has taught us mm. about who we are. Yeah. He's come to... to redeem us from the lies of who we aren't yeah and so i think the work of jesus what's so great about the work of jesus is that he's put us back into our original context yeah he's put us back into communion with the father son and holy spirit yeah and he's given us a sense of identity a sense of belonging and um and that's really amazing because once we w we never had that yeah we were we were dealing in dead works we were doing things that never really brought yeah. fulfillment. And we had another father as well. Sure, we were yeah, following he, somebody else. He, 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 he took us out of the hands of another father, mm -hmm. the enemy. He's put us in a good kingdom. Yeah, yeah. So for me, that's, uh, that's the amazing thing about what Jesus did for us. is He really gave us, um, he gave us our lives back. Yeah, that's <laughs> you good. Know, yeah. Gave us our lives back. And He, and he gave us a new life. Mm. He put us really into the place where we can experience what it really means to be human and to mm. live fully human yeah. without the constraints um, of sin yeah. and shame and guilt and condemnation. Yeah, so He broke those things off us. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's what He bought us from. Yeah, and I think that puts, us, that puts us in another question. Now that we have been redeemed out of this place of dead works, um, what have we been redeemed for? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I, I think that most people, when they came to Jesus, maybe in school, you know, you put up your hand, you say, you say the prayer, yeah, I want to be saved. And then that's like where it ends for most people. It's like they just get stuck at the door. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And many people just go, hey man, 20 years ago, I did it. And they've never entered the door. They've never experienced this purpose with God. Mm. And when, when, we, when God invites us into the kingdom, it's not just a church attendance kingdom. It's to be on mission with Jesus. Yeah. It's actually going, hey, God's got a number of assignments for us uh, through our lifetime. He's got purposes for us. He's got plans. He's going, would you enter through the door of Jesus to come into this new world where there are these amazing assignments? Where we have been born to change the world. Yeah. But we're not going to change the world if we're stuck on the outside. And so we've been redeemed from a purposeless life, identityless life, like you mentioned, into a life where we go on adventures with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And what brings me great joy is when you're in town and you hear the Holy Spirit say to you, buy this, pray for that person, or maybe establish this or disciple that family and you just see their lives transform and change and like they were there and now they're here in their lives there's yeah. more hope there's joy there's greater peace in their family and you're like come on this sure, sure. these are the assignments that god wants to send us on and i believe this is in the kingdom where we are and, and these assignments happen in our daily lives it's not once a year where we go on sure. a missions trip sure. to the poorest countries in the world it happens day for day, week for week in yeah, our lives. Yeah. And I believe that we need to ask the Holy Spirit, what is my assignment? Mm. Some of them are long, some of them are short, but you go on an adventure with God and you're going, now I'm saved from nothing into this amazing life where I get to practice my love 
Uh, I get to practice my peace. I get to practice these amazing things with Jesus. And now I see supernatural things happening through just these two normal hands. Mm. You know, we spoke last session. We were messed up. And God still uses messed up hands sometimes. Yeah, yeah. We don't understand that, but that's His grace. Yes, yes. That's just His goodness. But I tell you what, when I start seeing Him work through my hands, these supernatural acts of love and kindness, I'm going, I want more of that. Sure, sure. And now this purpose and this desire kicks in to go, now I'm no longer standing at the door. But I'm in the door. I'm I'm in this kingdom, and I'm going. We're having fun with Jesus. Yeah, I like that adventures with God. Yeah, and I think it brings a sense of fulfillment. Eh? I yeah. think uh, I can resonate with what you're saying. When when we are following the voice of the Holy Spirit, and we see that our broken lives can bring yeah. a sense of change to someone, bring a sense of joy. Or we've met a need where this person is praying, God, what am I going to eat tonight? And we are able to be that instrument in that yeah. moment. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's what really stirs me on to continue doing that day after day. Yeah. And I believe that this is this is the real church. This is what we see in Acts. This is what we see with Jesus. Um, and, and it's beautiful. And this is what he's inviting us into as a community. Yeah, absolutely.